What do you mean, potatoes? Welcome to your guardian chef, your angel in the kitchen. Today we are making graffe, also called zeppole di carnevale. No, they are not the same as zeppole di San Giuseppe. Graffe are Italian donuts that are deep fried and coated with sugar. They are different from the other Italian donuts as the dough is made with potatoes. They are crispy outside but smooth and fluffy inside. These are the ingredients you need. Quantities are in the description below. Boil the potatoes until they are cooked. For medium potatoes, it would take about 20 minutes. Grind the potatoes while still warm. Here I use an electric grinder that automatically separates the skin. If you use a manual grinder, you need to peel the potatoes before grinding them. Do not boil peeled potatoes as they will absorb too much water. Let the potatoes cool down slightly. Now we activate the yeast. Slightly warm up half of the milk and melt the butter in it. Dissolve the yeast in the warm milk and let it rest for a few minutes to activate. Ensure the milk is at lukewarm temperature. If the temperature is too high, the yeast will not activate. In a separate bowl, we prepare the dry ingredients. Grate the lemon zest in the flour, add the sugar and mix with a fork. Add the dry ingredients to the potato. Stir roughly with a fork and make a well in the center. Add the eggs to the center and roughly combine them with a fork. Add the milk with the butter and the activated yeast in the center. Roughly combine with a fork until most of the liquid is absorbed. At this point, the dough is dry enough to use your hands. You could have used an electric mixer, but you need to feel the consistency of the dough with your hands. The dough should be moderately stiff and not sticky. If it is too firm, add more milk gradually. The amount of milk to use depends on the consistency of the dough and it can vary based on the type of potatoes you use. The dough is done. Place enough flour on a flat surface. Cut the dough into half, then quarters. Cut into small pieces and roll the dough into strips. Shape them into rounds or into ribbons. The name for the pastry zeppola is probably derived from the Latin word serpula, which means snake. Line them up on a well-floured surface. Cover with a cloth and let them rest for two hours. Place the frying oil in a pan and bring it to high heat. If you plan to make a large quantity, I recommend using a deep fryer. Let's start by frying only one doughnut to make sure the oil is hot enough. After a few seconds, the doughnut will float to the surface. Turn it around to cook it evenly on both sides. Now that the oil is warm enough, you can fry a few doughnuts at the same time. Place them on a kitchen towel to absorb the excess oil, coat them with sugar while they are still warm, and they are ready to serve. You can eat them as they are or topped with jam. Graffi are better eaten freshly made, so you'll have to finish them within the next two days. What a shame. For more deep fried Italian desserts, check the playlist above. And don't forget to subscribe. We should make more Italian donuts. Graffe, zeppole di carnevale, castagnole, bignole, sfingi, frittole, bomboloni. Yep. I gained 10 kilos just thinking about them.